Right, very quick video, um, how to get rid of hours on video training, but still maintain quality. Right, so I'm, this is my training for next week, or this week actually, 19 hours. Um, so anyway, oh no, sorry, two weeks time. Anyway, so this is it, right. So first things first, the race, I haven't actually done the race properly, but the TSS is roughly about right. Um, so imagine I wasn't racing this weekend and I was just doing endurance. Right, so first, sack off recovery rides, they don't have any training benefit. So delete that. And you can see the TSS barely goes down at all, loses 30, and suddenly we're well below 20 hours for the week. Now, all I'm trying to show here is that you don't actually need hours to train effectively. So that's done. Right, next thing I'd do, I'd probably get rid of core and stretch. I reckon they're important, but not as important as people think. So I'd, I'd sack, I'd probably keep one in. I'd keep one in maybe, um, but maybe decrease it. Next thing I'd do, four and a half hour ride. I wouldn't have to do four and a half hours. Um, I'd just change it to like three probably on one day. So that's another like easy hour and a half save. Training benefit, unless you're doing huge long rides. Again, we're now down to under 16 hours. Five hour ride, nah, no need for that. Three hours as well. If not, I'll do two hours because I'm not sure how long people have to train. Right, next one's these intervals here. So you can see a half an hour warm up. I mean, you can sack that off, probably change that into 20 minute warm up. I mean, intervals, you have to keep the intervals, I reckon. And then cool down again, you could have a 15 minute cool down. Obviously, if you're doing these outside, it might take you long to ride there or whatever, but that changed it from an hour and 40 to an hour and 23. Um, and we're now down to sort of 12 hours. I still reckon I can get this down even less. Two hours 40 here, you can see I have an hour of cool down. This is basically just zone two stuff. Just get rid of that, change it for like 11 minutes, saves an hour there. And here we pretty much go. Suddenly, 11 hours a week, maybe people think that's a lot. Um, but even then, I, you could get rid of this ride here and change that into a sweet swap ride. But that's what I'm saying. You've half the training volume. You haven't got rid of any intervals. So you've still got you know proper intervals on two days of the week, rest days, and solid training rides. I mean, if I did this, I would be fine for the week. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the quick video. Priority, if you want to get rid of your hours, let's say suddenly you have a busy week, recovery rides, Endurance rides, like if they're really long, but and then endurance after your intervals. Um, if you look at when pros train, they don't do that many more intervals than most people. Maybe they do a little bit more. The main thing they do is they just ride at zone two. Like they'll ride two hours to the climb, do you know their efforts for you know maybe an hour at sweet hour, hour at threshold, and then ride two hours home and done five hour ride or whatever. While a normal person would do an hour of threshold potentially. Um, or 40 minutes, but they just wouldn't ride an hour either side. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this quick vid, and I'll see you in the next one.